Hi everyone and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today a tequila. This is Sansa Hornitos Añejo. Alright, so I reviewed the Reposado a couple, maybe four or five months ago. And uh, as you can see, this one is quite a bit, uh, quite a bit darker in color. A uh, reposado is typically aged between about six, six, six months and a year. Uh, and añejo is aged between typically between one and three years. So it's a little bit older. Hmm. This is the uh, the standard uh, eighty proof here. Mm. Right away we have a huge bouquet of vanilla right on the nose here. Some nice toasted oak. Mm. Some sweet agave. Obviously a very distinctive aroma. I think I got some nutmeg in there as well. Hmm. It's a little bit sweet and it's very rich. Okay, so on the palate here, we've got a good agave sweetness. I mean, nice rich charred oak. Almost kind of a little bit of a uh, caramel. And then a little bit of a, a tingle of black pepper at the end there that kind of takes you into the finish. And there we have a smooth, relatively lengthy, lightly peppery finish. And kind of a whisper of vanilla on the palate as it departs. Mm. That's very good. So on the nose here, I think the extra time in the barrel did this one a huge favor. Just a nice, rich nose, a little bit sweet, had some nice agave notes, had some charred oak, uh, a little bit nutty. I'm going to give the nose 23 points. Taste on this one also had some nice notes, uh, a little bit caramel, that, uh, that, you know, that vanilla was still there. Uh, we'll give the taste 22 points. Nice finish, again, relatively long. Uh, you know, had some nice, uh, a, a nice black peppery spice that kind of, you know, warmed your palate through the finish there. Uh, left you with a little bit of vanilla on the palate. I'm going to give the finish 22.5 points. And then the balance for this one, I'm going to put it at 23. That's going to give us an overall score of 90.5 points for this Salsa Hornitos Añejo. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a member. And then after you do, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button uh, so you get notifications of new videos that come out. I do have one come out every weekend, and I'd hate for you to miss one. So please go ahead and do that for me, and I'll see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.